Hey, my name is Garrett, and I'm working on Strung by 3, a martial arts combat and strategy game. This week, I worked on the enemy AI, so now the enemies will have either a normal, suspicious, or aggro state based on the player's noise level and location. The enemy will charge towards the player once aggroed, and if they are close enough, they will attack and damage the player. If the player is fast enough, you can actually run away from the enemy, but I'd need to fix some stuff with the state, it's not perfect yet. There's also now a basic implementation of the city that will be around the center of the island after I modeled a few different building models in Blender. I added a randomized script to the building prefabs that randomizes their model scale and rotation so that I can generate different building combinations. I've still got a lot to add to this in terms of designing, but it's a good start, though I need to really set my workflow for that. This week I learned that state management is very important. Now I know what a state machine is, and I know its use, but I don't know how to create it in Unity yet. Even with just three states, my code was getting pretty messy with a bunch of if and switch statements, and I want to make sure that I have a solid foundation for if eventually in the future I want to add more states. I also learned a bit more about editor extensions and editor scripting. So for the buildings, I have this randomized toggle bool that whenever I click it in the inspector, it will execute in edit mode to randomize the building. Now this works, but I'd rather have, you know, a button. And I tried out editor scripting a bit, but I was having a bit of trouble with it. Regardless if I decide to make each player's city different or all of them the same, having this randomized functionality pretty set will help me a lot with designing and setting the city, which is something I haven't really done before and I want any help I can get. In my martial arts training, I did a lot of skip kick combinations as well as some James Bond training after I got inspired. I set up a few bob targets and got a plastic gun and I felt like 007 for a little bit. Speaking of James Bond, this week I did a lot of thinking about the main character and other side characters in the story because I've never made a story game before, well at least a good one. I'm thinking about putting the majority of the focus on the main character and all the other side characters are pretty much NPCs with little effect on the game plan story. My main character is sort of gonna be like this James Bond Mandalorian like mysterious guy who's a little bit more distant which makes sense because the focus of the story will be on the main character not so much about the NPCs. Thank you guys so much for watching I love every single one of you guys I'm more than happy to talk in discord or in the comments whatever you want I'm more than happy to talk if you guys need anything at all. So with that said thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next devlog for some more fun.